everyone my name is yogesh and uh, today i am going to tell you that uh, what is the anonymous types which are used in c sharp and uh, uh, i am using the framework c sharp 5.0 so it's a uh, completely a new and uh, in this uh, video tutorial you will learn that what is the use of anonymous types and uh, where to use these kind of types right so let me start uh, first of all i want to tell you that what is the anonymous type so create read only properties into a single object without having to define type ex explicitly they are nameless classes it means that uh, you you have to create a particular anonymous type uh, we should not have uh, any kind of name actually uh, this kind of particular type will be created uh, in the intermediate language and uh, generated by the c sharp compiler so it is a nameless it means that uh, whenever you create a anonymous type and you will not define a particular name to this type okay second point is the class type derived from system dot object it's a mother class and the third point is usually we use them with link you queries to shape the result in our desired format actually we used in link you queries we will uh, we will uh, i will give a lecture on link you based link you is uh, just a, a language integrated uh, query language which we will use in my incoming uh, or uh, forthcoming uh, videos so they are used to optimize function performance and used in place of delegates uh, in my last video i have explained that what is the delegates so before starting on the, or before come to the on anonymous type you should learn delegates right so how to create anonymous type by using the new and where keyword we can create uh, anonymous type and uh, you you can see the particular example where book details equal to new i am just uh, uh, writing new keyword but i am not writing the type name or i can say that uh, i am not using the any class name and uh, i am giving some properties book name equal to sams and isvn equal to 1 2 3 and author is a yogesh sharma okay so if you want to retrieve the value of a particular anonymous type then you can use by using the period op operator like you can see here book details dot book name it means that book details is the uh, particular variable uh, which is used by the key where keyword and the book name is the anonymous type read only property so we know that uh, property what is the property properties the uh, property are just to define uh, in, in our class and uh, it's a special methods uh, and uh, it use the get and set uh, attributes right so let's switch to the practical part and uh, i think that uh, by using the practical of i create uh, creating an anonymous type in practically you will understand it well okay so come to the visual studio let me create a controller i want to give the controller name is home this is my action and uh, in this action i want to just i would just want to create a particular anonymous type by using the where keyword we can create the anonymous type and i am using here in ano okay new i want to give some properties over here like uh, first property is the name and the value of name is the yogesh and the second property is the age age equal to 30 so there is no need to uh, define the data type of this particular properties like uh, i am writing just i am writing name but i am not taking string or writing the age but i am not uh, writing integer it means that as per the value the data type will be decided uh, by the compiler okay now i want to get this value so to get this value and render on the view i can use contained and uh, by using the period operator i can get the value of anonymous type variable like you can see here anonymous name and age is name is age is ano dot age so it's a very simple example let me create a view to render this output by click add view 
and uh, the view name is index so your view has been created now now let me execute it in next section we will learn that how we can create the anonymous arrays okay now you can see the output name is yogesh and age is 30 now stop the debugging i am going to create a new action action result okay the action name should be use array this is my action name and this action i am creating an anonymous array by using the where keyword like where q equal to or where array equal to new as you know that we are creating a array anonymous array so i have to take the brackets over here and uh, initialize this array with some values by new keyword id equal to 1 name equal to yogesh and uh, father name equal to sharma now the first value has been generated let me create another value new to name uh, john father name okay so second property is also generated okay now let me close it and using the semicolon okay so by using this code i can create a anonymous array now let me uh, take a loop to go through with all elements and uh, to represent the all output let me take another where type variable and i want to initialize it with the empty string the main constraint by if you are using the where keyword it means that you have to initialize the where uh, where variable before using it okay so i initialize with the empty string and uh, writing a for each loop to go through with the all array elements where q in array okay and uh, plus equal to q dot now you can see output over here plus writing some string q dot name make some gap and q dot father name now return contained and write q let me create a view Okay, 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 okay. The thing is that okay, I have to make or undo all the changes. Mm. I have to take here a variable. Okay. Now, all is good. Okay. Let me create a view. Add view. Use array. Add. So my induction method has been changed so I have to make changes in uh, app start also as you know that uh, I am using the home controller but the action name is use array ok now execute it again now you can see here the complete output the one Yogesh Sharma is the my first value it means that uh, first the uh, array element was 1 Yogesh and Sharma and second element is the 2 John and Mas so 
in this section you learned that how I can create the animus types and uh, how we can animus array now let me take uh, another action where I will uh, uh, set a class so to set a class I have to take a new folder I want to give the folder name is VLL now I want to create a class the cl class name should be users in this class I will create three properties like public integer ID or uh, employee ID employee ID public string employee name or just name and uh, public string salary okay so three parameters I have used in, in this particular class now let me show you that how I can uh, create a list to implement this but before it I have to write the complete uh, namespace to get uh, this particular user class so I have to pass this namespace and uh, anonymous type dot vll into my namespace over here like home controller and I have to use using system oh, sorry it's not need to give namespace and I want to use the generic classes so it means that I have to pass the generic classes reference over here collection dot generic okay public action result use class in this action I will create a list the data type of list is my class name that is users and after that I have to create there is no need to write complete namespace because I have already added in my using area ok now I want to initialize the array type or initialize the class member variable by using the rst add and the new constructor ok so I have added three things first one is the employee id second one is the name name was the yogesh and uh, third thing is the salary ok so salary is 2000 let me add another value by using the new user constructor and uh, employee id equal to 2 name equal to Ganesha and the salary is my uh, data type of salary is a string so it means that uh, I have to give the string value over here like 3000 in a string format I have to make changes over here also ok so I initialize the class member variable by using these two variables value now let me uh, go with the, this particular class and uh, I, I want to perform a loop to get the values of this particular class so to perform this I want to use a link queue query like uh, where av from n in lst select n dot I have to use anonymous method here also like new and uh, n dot n dot id not the employee id n dot name and n dot salary ok so here I am using I am using this link queue syntax and in this link queue syntax I am using the new so it means that whenever you find any uh, keyword uh, uh, the new keyword 
and uh, there is no need uh, there is no the name of uh, uh, of a particular classmate that you are using this anonymous method over here okay so a we have the complete output now i have to read the value of a b by using like the i have using the where keyword where a equal to a b no by using this empty string and uh, in a, this uh, empty string i will write for each loop for each where q in av okay so whenever you are using the linku query you can change the output like uh, i want to uh, implement some string over here just like uh, where q in av and uh, a equal to a plus equal to q dot you can get the name and uh, if you want to initialize or uh, you want to give some value to your another uh, value like uh, i'm using the hash over here in my output it's my desired format and plus q dot name okay i am taking two val values only and uh, i want to show this value in my view page i am just writing here a so let me add a view use class okay now i want to execute it but before it i want to change the action name as you know that my action name is a use class and execute it again so in this section you can see that uh, i have performed a particular class and i give i give the three Uh, properties in the, that class, and uh, I'm using the linku query, and I'm changing changing the output, final output. Like uh, we do don't have the hash in my any father's name and uh, use, uh, employee name, but we are getting this value. So as I told you in my this slide that uh, we use usually we use them with linku queries to shape the result in uh, our desired format. Okay, so I have completed uh, video.